In this video we are going to go over middleware and middleware is a way of protecting your routes or running code before and after a route is run. So let's go ahead and jump back to our example code that we were working with in the previous video. If I go to app http routes.php you can see that we had a route here called home and what we would do in that directory or that route is we would say if this user is a guest then we redirect them to the login otherwise we say welcome home and we display their email. So this is we could do it this way but we're, we know that we're always going to be checking if a user is authenticated and then running some code or if they're not then we'll redirect them somewhere so in this case we're going to reuse this code all the time and we can create what's called a middleware and out of the box there is an authentication middleware already created for us if we go into our app http middleware we see that we have this authenticate.php and this authenticate PHP, if we go down to the handle function, we can see that everything is already done for us here. So if this auth guest, and if this is a Ajax request, then we're going to say it's unauthorized. Else, then we're going to redirect them to the auth slash login. So essentially, if they're a guest, we're going to redirect them to the login. Otherwise, we're just going to continue on and pass them to that route. So one more thing that I will want to mention is the middleware classes are here and then the places that you register your middleware is inside of app http and kernel.php and you can see that we have a protected middleware here and this is for all kinds of global middleware so if you want to run something before or after a route you could register your middleware here otherwise we are going to say that we want our route middleware to be here so you can see that our auth middleware directs to the app http middleware authenticate class and sure enough if we go into the app HTTP middleware we have the authenticate class so we are going to use this middleware called auth right here so inside of our routes.php file we will say middleware the middleware we want to run is auth before we run this route so I can remove all of this if auth guest because we're already going to be doing that filter in the middleware. So you will not be able to hit this route unless you are authenticated, otherwise you will be redirected to the login page. So let's go ahead and test that out. We got our server running and if I go to localhost 8000 slash home then sure enough we're redirected to the auth slash login. And then if we were to log in we could then get to the home page. So that's just a simple example of how to use middleware. I'm going to show you another quick example and how to create our own middleware. Let's say that inside of our users table. So I will go back into SQL Pro and connect and I will go to our auth database. And let's say inside of our users table we had a row called admin and this is just going to be a bool. It's just going to be a one or a zero whether this user is an admin or not. It's not the best way to do things but I'm just going to show you just for the sake of e easeability and simplicity. So by default the user will not be an admin. So if I go back here to my users table and the content I have John Doe and Jane Doe. Let's go ahead and make Jane Doe an admin. So then let's create a middleware so that way we could check if the user is an admin. Uh, if not, they can't access that specific route. They will be redirected to the home page. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And there is a PHP artisan command that we can run, which is called PHP artisan make, and we'll say middleware. And let's call this middleware admin. So our middleware should be created inside of our middleware folder. We do have this admin function. So since we're going to be using the same kind of authenticate middleware, we are going to copy and paste some of this code right here. So I will copy and paste this code in here because we want to make sure that they are logged in first and then we want to check if they are an admin. So we will need to make sure that we use the the guard class and then we will go down and I'm just going to copy and paste this handle functionality inside of the handle functionality right here. So we will say if this auth guest so we will redirect them to the auth login if they are not logged in otherwise let's do a check to see if this user is an admin so if
So let's go ahead and just go ahead and kill the script and then let's just print it out here. So is admin. So else then they are not an admin. So we will need to register this middleware inside of our app HTTP kernel and we can go ahead and just copy this auth right here and we'll paste it down here at the bottom. We will rename this middleware to admin and then we will need to make sure that we also change the class name to be admin. So let's save that and let's go back into our routes.php file and create a new route. So let's say route get, let's go to the admin route. We will say that we want to use the middleware of admin and then we will say welcome to your admin page so let's go ahead and save that and let's try to go to the slash admin route and let's go ahead and run our server real quick Okay, so we get not admin. So it's basically saying that this user that we're logged in with is not an admin. So that's exactly what we wanted because John Doe was not an admin. So let's go to auth slash logout and let's log back in as Jane Doe. Jane at doe.com password. And we logged in, we're at the home route. Now let's try to go to the admin route. So we have is admin. So we know that Jane Doe we are hitting inside of that if statement. If they are an admin, if not, then they'll say they are not an admin. So let's go back into the code again. And inside of our admin middleware, we will want to say, so if they are an admin, then we want to continue on to that route or to the next call in the stack. So return the next request, which is going to send them to, to the route. Otherwise, we can then redirect them, let's say, to the home page. Okay, and let's go back to our ad, to our app again and reload. And now we are allowed access to our admin page. So it says, welcome to your admin page. Let's go to auth logout. And then let's log in again. And we are going to log in as john at doe.com password. And now if we try to go to the admin, then it's just gonna redirect us back to the home because John is not an admin. So let's go ahead and change him to be an admin inside of our database. We'll change this to a 1. Now let's see if John can get to admin. And sure enough, John is now an admin so he can get to the admin page. So I hope you can see how powerful these middleware, these HTTP middleware classes are. It makes it really easy for checking things before you run a route. Uh, you can also run these middleware anytime before a route or anytime after a route. You can create globals or route specific middleware. Uh, you can check out more of the middleware documentation on Laravel. It is very thorough and uh, I will see you in the next video.